I'm sorry, Netlify. It's not you, it's me. Well, <laughs> it's finally happened. I have broken almost a terabyte of bandwidth usage in a month, which brings me outside of the pro plan into the enterprise plan with them. And that's a problem because they don't really have much scaling options and every 100 gigs of bandwidth I'd use would be $55, which is kind of ridiculous for, for just a, a solo like myself. So how do I scale this thing? Right now we're over a quarter of a million monthly users on ChrisTitus.com. Thank you guys so much for those that go see my articles over there. And I get a lot of traction from many of the search engines across the world. So awesome. We're growing. Congratulations is in order, says Netlify, Netlify support, or Netlify support. And... I just wish they could scale. I'd love to stay with them. And I say I'm sorry to them because they've been such a great service. And for 99% of the people out there, you could just stay with them forever and you'd have such a better time than almost any other web provider in the world. But once you get to a certain size like me, it's just cost prohibitive to stay with them. So I'd love to stay with them, but I can't. So what are the options are there? There's a lot of suggestions. People, I even made a post about it over on the community tab on Chris Titus um, over here on YouTube. And on that channel page, people gave me a lot of suggestions. But what I ended up going with was someone I didn't even know was an option. And that's Cloudflare. Cloudflare silently basically made a competing product to Netlify back in uh, 2020. So I didn't even know that they launched this service and it's free and it's unlimited. And that's kind of amazing. <laughs> like, okay, unlimited. I don't know how long it'll last. I might be going back uh, whenever they finally ratchet this down. But in the meantime, I went ahead and just said, okay, Cloudflare, here's $20 a month. I feel like that's at least somewhat fair. And I'm going to use terabytes bandwidth per month. So you're going to need some money. So I went ahead and gave them something. And in turn, they have optimization and other things. And why I chose Cloudflare is because I've used them a ton. I can't tell you how many clients I've set up in DDoS and other things that they've offered. Every website, usually I have pointed to Cloudflare as a name server. So it would just go ahead and give me all those protections that Cloudflare typically gives. So that's why I ended up going with them. So what's that setup process like is probably the next question. So I say, let's get on the desktop, uh, kind of explore this because it's kind of amazing. So on the desktop, I kind of lay out all the switch. One other thing that they give is these really amazing analytics, which we're actually going to log into my dashboard and show. But I also wanted to see some of the, the gotchas. And honestly, they set it up almost identical to Net Netlify. So I just had to modify my Hugo version because that's what I use for my static site generation. This is ChrisTitus.com or will be. This is obviously a staging uh, portal because this hasn't been released yet. Uh, they, I did have to set up page rules, which I do miss Netlify's redirect system, which I'll touch on in a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty darn happy with Cloudflare. So let's log into Cloudflare and show you that. So these are the previous seven days. I've gotten uh, over a quarter million visits, uh, getting close to 700,000 page views in the past seven days. And I've used 200 gigabytes of bandwidth. And that's just a lot of traffic. So it's not like a knock against anything. The fact that my website works as well as it does, seeing as much traffic as generating, it, it's just a testament to how awesome uh, Cloudflare's done with their service. So highly recommend this for just having the analytics, which Netlify didn't offer, but the pages is where it really shines on the actual website here. It has all the same functionality that I have grown to know and love. And let's just visit the site. You can see that you can see very, very fast. And usually what I do is like a gtmetrics.com just to see, get a, get a good baseline. So let's just put our address in here, just ChrisTitus.com. And you can see I score pretty good, uh, full colorful paints, about 200 milliseconds, uh, full load times about three seconds to one, one to three seconds. Most of this is just going to be ads. If you look at the waterfall, uh, I do monetize the site and you can see Google ads always adds like a half a millisecond here. 
and most of this other stuff, I, I'd probably need to do a little bit more optimization. One thing I've noticed with Cloudflare, like the Cloudflare Insights, did add a little bit of time. I would say Netlify is just a little bit faster than Cloudflare, as I'm seeing from the initial tests, but it's hard to say. I always like looking at, hey, what else can I do here to optimize? But for the most part, there's not too much going on. As far as performance goes, the blocking time, apparently there's some scripts that might be getting blocked during this full load time that causes that issue. I usually, if I remove ads completely, I would do that, but then I can't even recoup the cost of the website. So that's kind of a problem. So I do sacrifice a little bit on that side to make sure the website's working pretty good. But if we go to details of the deployment, you can see it has the same build process of Netlify, which I thought was amazing, it has functions and redirects and bindings, some really cool DDoS protection that Netlify doesn't have. Uh, the redirects are pretty good. To see the same thing with uh, Netlify, it was kind of cool how I went to, like, let's say I went to the website and then I just do the TOML file. Uh, that was spe specified to Netlify. It would change the Hugo version all from this file, add any plugins from Netlify, which this, I didn't see any plugins here, but it pretty much does everything I want. And then I would do each individual redirect right here. So that's how Netlify did it. I kind of preferred the redirect system from there. You could also do what's called page rules to redirect things based on uh, that so you have a little bit more flexibility but there's also a downside with that we come over to page rules from christitis.com you'll see i have some page rules for like uh just some short links to redirect to sites so if you type christitis.com forward slash join it'll subscribe to the channel or if you type uh, store.christitis.com it'll redirect you to cttstore.com which is kind of nice so all those things still work and then obviously probably the biggest redirect that i missed initially so my my tool went down for a couple hours was this christitis.com forward slash win redirects to my raw github script that so many people uh, watch me you know for deep loading windows uh, actually redirects to that GitHub project. So that's kind of something I created there. So if I ever needed to change it or I created a new project and I needed to update that link, I would never have to give anybody a new URL. So that's kind of the nice thing of having doing all this directly on Cloudflare. I do like this uh, quite a bit. I would say having the headers file, I still need some optimization, uh, specifically adding some caching settings in because I think right now my expires, my header expires is, is set to like nothing. So it's constantly not utilizing as much cache as it probably should. So I need to, I still need to some optimizations and tweaking with Cloudflare. I just wanted to show people Cloudflare's Netlify alternative that I've been using for about the past week. I like it right now. It's not as optimized as I had Netlify, but I think over the next month or two, I'll get it even just as good, if not better, with a lot of more options and settings, specifically just going through the website and changing some of the domain settings and optimization that Cloudflare has. They have such a huge suite that there's no reason not to do this right now. I do worry about like four or five years from now, what's Cloudflare going to look like after they steal a lot of Netlify's business? Because right now it's free with pretty much unlimited bandwidth. That's kind of amazing. And uh, the pages do work just as well. You're just connecting directly to a Git project and it's awesome. So uh, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to make this video just say, hey, Netlify, you've treated me really well. Other than the fact when I canceled, you did charge me another $55 for bandwidth when I'm deleting my website. Don't appreciate that, but that's okay. <laughs> no hard feelings. And then uh, Cloudflare is so far probably what I'm going to stay with for at least a couple years. But you all know me. Next month, it could be something different. <laughs> we'll see if they piss me off. <laughs> but having said that... Uh, let me know your thoughts on Cloudflare versus Netlify. And if you haven't already checked out my past video I did on Hugo and setting up static sites, if you want to set up something that's really fast and you're stuck on like something archaic like WordPress, by all means, this is something that is definitely coming. And it's something that I have absolutely loved using for years now. So uh, if you're interested in static sites, definitely check out my static site video. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.